Good morning, this is Ed Wilson, the Microsoft Scripting Guy, and today I want to talk about Anooms in Windows PowerShell 5.0. Now, creating a NUMS in Windows PowerShell is not new. new. For instance, uh, I wrote a, a scripting guy article you know, maybe a year or so ago, maybe two or three years ago, I don't remember. And in that, I showed how it was possible to create an NUM in Windows PowerShell. Uh, it wasn't the cleanest thing. I, um, I created a variable, specified a namespace, blah, 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 blah. Dude, this, uh, this is a, a string, and I'm using C Sharp in order to uh, do it. So um, it was kind of a trick. It was actually a pretty cool trick, uh, but it certainly wasn't the PowerShell way to do things. I mean, you know, not only was it uh, you know, 10 or 12 lines of code for this particular enum, but the other thing is it wasn't even very clean code. Um, yeah, it didn't make a whole lot of sense, and if you weren't a C-sharp programmer, it was like, yeah, you know, dude, what is this dude doing? Dude, 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 dude. So, in uh, Windows um, PowerShell 5 now on, uh, on Windows 10, uh, we actually have an Anoom keyword. This looks like PowerShell, so I use the keyword Anoom, specify the name of my Anoom, um, then I just specify Apple equals 29, pair 30, Kiwi 31. The um, delimiter here is the uh, carriage return, uh, if you will, the invisible uh, person at the end of each line, and we bring it down. Uh, so if I was to run this, I'd create an enum, and then I'd be able to go back in and to uh, access uh, the individual properties uh, from that enum. Now, the neat thing with this is that um, not only can I create an enum by using this keyword and specifying this, but one of the really groovy things is that I can actually create an enum and um, then I can come in and use that enum in the same enum, uh, in the same script. So what this means is essentially I'm going to inherit. So I create my enumeration fruit. So that's why Apple 29 pair uh, Kiwi. And then I create another enumeration called more fruit. And um, so I've got an apple is equal to 29. Well, if you combine a pear and an apple, I guess you get a papple. And uh, so that's what I've got. Papple is equal to the fruit enum, uh, static property pear, uh, plus the fruit enum, static property apple. Uh, which comes over there. So we know that uh, if we add this together, we got 50 and 29, uh, or 30 and 29. So we're going to wind up with 59 is going to be my value of a papple. If I combine a kiwi and an apple, then I guess I'd have a capple. And uh, so a kiwi, uh, so fruit, static property kiwi, plus fruit, static property apple. Uh, so that's going to be 31 plus uh, 29, which is going to be probably about 60 or so. And then we got a capapple. So I add the kiwi, the pear, and the fruit uh, apple all together. And that's going to probably give me uh, close to 90 or something like that, maybe. So uh, if I run this script, um, we didn't get any error messages back. Now, uh, how do I access uh, these values? Well, we see it right here, uh, fruit pear. So I can say fruit, uh, call, call them pear. Notice that uh, we get tab expansion pops up here. So I could just say apple, uh, or I could say pear, whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, and then there's, there's pear. Well, what about my more fruit? Well, I say more fruit. Uh, colon, colon, and once again, tab expansion comes up. There's my capapple, and um, so press enter, and there's my capapple. Well, that's actually pretty cool, but you know, what if I actually want to know the numeric value of this? Well, there is a property, uh, and again, tab expansion works great here, or IntelliSense rather. So we got its value double underscore. And uh, when I press enter, it goes back, yes, yeah, I told you it was about 90. So we get kiwi, pear, and fruit, and 31 plus 30 plus 29. Hey, that's equal to 90. And so that is actually the numeric value of my capapple. If I wanted to see the um, value of the pear, then uh, I just say a value and uh, press this enter, and that pulls this out. Now, so this is the new way of creating enumerations. Now, I wrote a script um, a while back, and basically what this does is this gets uh, enumeration values. So if we look at it here, I pass the, uh, the string, 
for my enumeration. Um, I initialize this um, this hash table right here. Uh, then I call um, enum get values, and then I specify the type. So what, when I uh, do that, let's let's take a look at this. So if I say enum, and um, then say um, fruit. So uh, specify uh, colon colon. So this is a static method. Get uh, get values. Um, so there's my get values, and then I uh, pass it a type of say like fruit. Then uh, when I close this out, uh, then we can see that we got apple, pear, and kiwi. So this is how I get all of the um, values uh, that are associated here. So this gives me each of these apple, pear, and kiwi. And then for each of those, uh, what I do is I uh, add, I use the add method to add items to my hash table. So the first element is going to be the apple, pear, or kiwi. And then the second is going to be that uh, apple dot um, value double underscore, pear dot um, value double underscore, and kiwi the same thing. And then so I create my enum and then I uh, display those out. And so when I run this, then um, I pass a string of the enumeration name. So I say get uh, enum values, uh, specify the enum, and then as a string, uh, let's just say fruit, and uh, close this out. And then it comes back and lets me know that uh, kiwi, fruit, and apple, 31, 30, and 29. So this little function, I uh, wrote it a while back. It's actually in my profile. and. Uh, I uh, continue to use it to this day. It still works exactly the same the same way. So what we have now is an enum keyword in Windows PowerShell 5 that lets me create enumerations that work exactly the way that they're supposed to in Windows PowerShell. Um, my name is Ed Wilson, and uh, this is uh, talking about um, enumerations in Windows PowerShell 5 on Windows 10. Thank you very much, and have a wonderful day.